Hi everyone, I'm Professor Mohammed Shah with you. Uh, today we are going to talk about how to connect more than one model, uh, content in one model. Uh, our um, recommended example today is, uh, is to connect photovoltaic system and solar addition models with uh, concentrated solar tower, uh, steam ranking cycle with molten salt. Uh, let's connect our model. Suppose you this these are your model after downloading from uh, REST library. So you have to extract. Uh, you have to go here and we can extract here. Okay. There's uh, some kind of uh, password. So okay. So these are our uh, models. Okay. If you open all, you will find your files here contained with uh, your uh, uh, photos and figures or something like this don't remove any of these uh, contents please uh, so these are your models and um, you have to copy and don't open your model from here you have to open matlab first and go to your destination folder but first i have to copy and paste all of these contents in one folder so i i uh, i will make a new folder I will name it as, uh, for example, Raul, for example. Okay. And now I will open um, uh, photovoltaic, for example, control A. Control A. Okay. I copy. And paste it in one folder. Because this, this is going to be uh, our main folder. Okay and solar radiation model okay and yes copy and replace all and let's go for uh, molten salt control a all of your contents you have to remove it or copy it okay and in the same folder yes copy and replace yes copy and replace so we have here one folder containing three models uh, with all uh, as we can see residuals or figures or whatever so you have not to open from here you have to copy this one copy and go to your uh, main working folder or your main drive so this is my main drive Okay, this is my main working folder, so I will move it here. Okay, so this is my folder is here, in E working folder, Brits website, whatever your uh, path, you have to uh, consider this one. So this is our main model. So I will open MATLAB. This is the main or general uh, path of MATLAB. So I have to specify from here. I'm going to E, I'm going to my work, going to uh, the same uh, folder destination, okay, the same folder destination. So I have to search for Raul from here, okay, this is uh, uh, Raul, yes, this one. So you will find all of your uh, uh, models are here. We have two versions of solar radiations. We have photovoltaic system. We have concentrated uh, solar steam like in cycle. Click here, sort by name, group by type, and we have to roll in ourselves to the model. Okay, um, we need to uh, let's open firstly um, uh, solar tower model. Okay. We need to attach a solar uh, uh, radiation model with photovoltaic model with concentrated uh, solar tower. We demonstrated all of this model before, so we briefly we will show you how to deal with more than one model and uh, and uh, contained in another model. So this is our model. Um, as we demo before, demonstrated before, uh, we have to assign uh, solar radiation. So you can assign by yourself. 
as an input value, okay, just one value, okay, and uh, you can assign your power. The power should be delivered by the turbine unit. Going inside, you'll find your uh, uh, your main uh, units. We have solar tower. We have uh, a brine uh, heat. Oh, I'm sorry, a boiler heat exchanger. So boiler heat exchanger with solar tower is a molten salt cycle, and we have steam racking cycle. Boiler heat exchanger uh, with steam side, turbine unit, condenser two buses, surface condenser with attached to the uh, cooling tower, and pumping unit. In this model, um, the turbine unit is responsible for all auxiliaries in the cycle. So if you assign your output by 50 megawatts, you will consume actually uh, 50 megawatts plus or 100 megawatts plus because we attached power a uh, bombing power inside the tank or uh, the main bombing system and fan power of the cooling tower uh, to the, the main to the main load on the turbine unit so the turbine unit is, is going to deliver more power considering uh, the auxiliaries so suppose we need to deliver uh, uh, to remove auxiliary power loads on the turbines we need to deliver just 50 megawatts okay suppose uh, for example i will exclude the power of the uh, the load power or of the fans of the cooling towers and make it a clearly uh, responsible from a uh, photovoltaic system Let's begin from the photovoltaic system. Okay, this is our main working folder. You will find your all of your objects here, all of your photos. Don't remove any of of this. Don't remove any of this. Okay. Okay. Let's open photovoltaic system. Okay. Firstly, let's open photovoltaic system. You will find it like this. Okay. So uh, we need to copy this one. I will copy this model okay I will copy okay copy it and no need for this one I'll close and returning back again I'm sorry I have to do this okay returning back again to our main model okay I will paste it here okay uh, this is our photovoltaic plant let's control shift and arrange format font style the same font style okay this is um we have uh, seven more units i will name this by as you can see here this is uh, model number eight or unit number eight to the system this is sol solar photovoltaic field that's uh, small shrinking it a little bit okay okay now so we have here a solar uh, photovoltaic system and we, the power from uh, the fans should be responsible from this one where is the power fan power this is fan power okay and this is uh, fan cooling tower fan power if you go inside cooling tower you will find this one this is cooling tower fan power okay this is output and this output is uh, uh, responsible from the turbine unit so we're going to change this one we have to uh, not to deliver this not to deliver this stream to the total power stream where is total power stream is here is here as you can see here this is fan power okay this is load on the turbine unit so i will exclude this one i will exclude this one i will make it responsible from the photovoltaic so we need to remove this i have to remove this one okay and double clicking here we need, i will exclude one input so now the power uh, is responsible from as you can see here, we have to adjust everything. Okay. 
to be organized. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I have to remove this one. Just control X. Okay, so um, now the, fan, the cooling tower power uh, it is not depending on turbine unit. I will make it depending on photovoltaic. So I have to go inside photovoltaic. I will find two systems of photovoltaics. Two main systems. I have to remove this. No need for this. Okay. Two main systems. We have watt per meter square and kilowatt hour per meter square. Okay. Watt per meter square or kilowatt hour per meter square. So there is. Um, let's go for. Uh, the photovoltaic you will find ample power as you can see here this ample power in kilowatt and it will transfer to watt so I have to go here this is total plant power so I have to remove this okay this is input this is input power and attach the cooling tower so I will remove this one I will remove this stream okay and i i will put it here and go here and going to the sink terminator attach here okay control r and so i will terminate the input okay i will terminate the input and i will replace it by source uh, it could be input I will attach this to four pose uh, types and I will name it as uh, cooling tower load in kilowatt okay for example cooling tower load in kilowatt okay so now another step I have to go outside here I'm sorry uh, what is photovoltaic yes from here another step just to click on your photovoltaic okay let's emphasize uh, as you can see this is input this input should be attached uh, to the uh, to the cooling tower so there is no there is no need for this there is no need for this one I can attach simply the cooling tower to the uh, photovoltaic system as you can see here okay and I can uh, double clicking and right here cooling cooling tower load on PV uh, field or plant PV solar solar plant okay Okay, uh, that's shrinking. Okay, and you can uh, click on this or click on the signal and send it to uh, stream signal to data inspector. Okay, so you can find out your results in data inspector if you would uh, like to discover. Another thing, just to click on photovoltaic uh, block and control M or right click here and going to the mask uh, edit mask or control M so edit mask I have to go here and uh, this is this parameter is total system power load you have to make it going to the enable because we uh, there is another source of input so there is no need to assign it because if you leave it when you double click here you have to write your total load on the photovoltaic so the total load in photovoltaic is already assigned or being responsible from uh, the cooling tower system so there is no need for this one right click going to uh, mask edit mask parameters and going to total uh, load okay and enable and visible there is no need for it now okay double clicking here it is 
excluded let's run our model okay let's run our model and you will realize that uh, there is some kind of a change as you can see here okay so the power load the power load on uh, this 50 mega and this is 5109 it was 5140 there is a 40 because I, I run this model uh, from while so I found the, we, there is some kind of uh, 31 kilowatt excluded from the cooling tower and let's go here you can check by yourself if we uh, copy and paste this one here let's check our results cooling tower load cooling tower load in kilowatt let's go in here and uh, sorry okay let's run again and see uh, the load that excluded or being loaded on photovoltaic system so there is i'm sorry there is uh, 330 kilowatt of power excluded from uh, the load on the turbine unit so let's go inside the photovoltaic system and see and uh, that's going here for selection I'm sorry what is your selection suppose I'm going for what per meter square okay what per meter square applying okay and let's go inside this is what, what per meter square I choose this one so I uh, suppose my solar radiation is uh, 1000 watt per meter square and the module type is 280 and performance efficiency of the battery cost of the battery okay for 300 kilo what is our area okay let's go inside and see let's say make our run and see our results here and cost of uh, photovoltaic system okay for 300 uh, kilowatts of power you will need 1001 180 modules module area total system area is 2000 square meter battery storage number of batteries photovoltaic costs fob price what is your efficiency cell efficiency and open circuit voltage uh, short circuit voltage so this is a load on uh, photovoltaic system okay so this one we we have to add this cost uh, to the cost stream as a cost stream to uh, here let's go here going to the uh, photovoltaic uh, there's no need for this one um, stop blowing okay no need, no need for this suppose you need to attach the, the cost of photovoltaic system to the main uh, cost calculation block okay and you have to i'm sorry going to the photovoltaic system i will just show you one example let's go here and going to the sink output here and attach this one and name it as uh, pv a capital costs okay in US dollar okay and okay going outside here you will find there is some kind of output so I need to output it again to another block to outside here okay and I will name it at PV uh, capital costs in US dollar okay saving going outside you will find it output here so it's output here okay we have to attach this to the cost block so i need to uh, some kind of going to signal routing 
that's going for um, discrete signal routing I think it was here uh, yes signal routing go to yes go to control I to swap it and attach okay and I will uh, remove this one for, uh, sure okay and click here and name it as PV uh, costs okay I hit apply so I have to attach this one to the as an input to the cost block let's go for cost block here cost calculation and you can edit this one you can edit so we need to attach um, the cost the cost of uh, 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 photovoltaic so I will add here PV I'm sorry PV uh, capital costs okay and if you go outside you will find it here so I have to uh, adjust my inputs I'm sorry this is uh, a problem was version 2016a I think you have to download uh, the newest version of MATLAB that's better than this so I will consider uh, post it here this is my input uh, okay mm, suppose this uh, one thousands okay and we will name this one by PV uh, capital cost in US dollar okay so this is input and be sure to use this one because it's unused so this is capital cost so we can um, um, uh, for this one we can predict our yearly cost so for yearly yearly uh, uh, annual capital cost let it be annual capital costs for PV system so for annual capital costs annual uh, let it be PV annual annual capital costs is equal to PV capital costs I'm sorry capital cost multiplied by normalization factor so it will become it will become US dollar per year US dollar per uh, year okay and we can uh, we can remove this one uh, I think I let it be a supposer just I will check I will check how to I forget some equations let's go for for example PVRO in order to copy and paste the equations of uh, costs okay uh, PV uh, let it be this one PVRO dynamic model double clicking I think this one let's go for PV system I'm sorry PV cost yes it should be here it's for the control unit okay uh, for calculating yes annual of uh, for photovoltaic yes for photovoltaic we have to add um, yes for photovoltaic as I show you so this is annual total costs per year yes uh, I, I did it finally uh, okay and okay 
let's begin let's return back to our model okay this is our main model so if you go to another uh, directory if you go to another directory and try to run your model if you find yourself would like to run you try trying to run your model okay this one you will find yourself uh, not be able to show your uh, photos so you have to stick yourself with your uh, working directory this is my working directory now raul directory let's go here for editing this is annual uh, capital costs so we can uh, we can add uh, hourly costs i think hourly costs we have to go here for hourly costs let's go for for example I'm sorry for bombing our cost yes this one control C and uh, we have to return back again so after our cost we need to add uh, our annual cost we need to add PV uh, hourly uh, costs is US dollar per hour so we have to uh, this is our cost named by Z PV okay and we have to add this one control C here okay I this is dollar per year I will transfer it to dollar per hour so I need to add uh, operating hours to the uh, to the system suppose it's uh, we can make it as an input if you would like uh, let it be as an input operating hours okay and we will add photovoltaic costs to the system uh, plus the photovoltaic so this is your total hourly costs uh, okay now your cost block is ready and we have to go outside here I'm sorry going to the cost analysis and we need to add hourly costs uh, hourly operating hours for example operating hours okay okay we need to add operating hours uh, you can add it as a cost and cost to block and name as OH operating hours okay and we can name it uh, operating hours now we have to go outside again and control him control him dialog okay and we will add uh, operating hours as an edit so i will operating uh, hours okay and it's oh okay and it apply and okay if you double clicking here you will find operating hours suppose it's 24 hours okay per year and we have to adjust these inputs okay okay and this one double clicking here uh, it's um, PV yes PV cost PV capital costs and uh, okay and let's hit run and see uh, our results saving hit run and see at the same operating conditions and no changing okay let's go inside here for photovoltaic selection here this is our costs let's go for cost analysis and you will discover uh, your results here so this is as you can see here if you attach this one you'll find the same value 
okay the same value the same value here uh, 5.188 and you will find it 5.188 okay so let's discover hourly cost this is total uh, hourly cost in the system surely increased because of the increase of uh, adding photovoltaic hourly costs you can you can see it if you would like you can add here pv hourly costs control c control v and colon or semicolon yes and go outside here you will find find it here so you can express the hourly costs from this one and you can write here pv pv hourly costs that's it run and see i'm curious about to see the results okay this is our cost of photovoltaic it's around four uh, four point seven we can name this as z pv don't put colon here or semicolon or anything because this is a stream uh, dollar per uh, hour okay so you'll find this in your data inspector okay and okay we we'll attach this one okay we we'll attach the photovoltaic load so you can add attach this load uh, all load on, on the bump as you can see here this is load on the bump you can attach this as input here uh, on the photovoltaic as well but uh, i will keep this just cooling tower okay let's attach another one okay let's attach let's go over here and clear and clc clear clc okay um no need for this so our model is ready for uh, photovoltaic system as a power low a power uh, source for the cooling tower let's try to change uh, uh, this I'm trying to change uh, the solar radiation uh, okay as you can see here uh, let's go here okay for concentrated solar tower the main source of uh, of solar energy is this one input block as a solar energy so if you double clicking here you can adjust this one and this one will affect on this so let's go here and trying to open solar edition i do recommend version 2 double clicking okay this is our solar radiation model okay solar radiation model no need for this okay solar radiation model it's we have five models bird equal water and uh, model asheria model hotel model so we need to add to uh, add this uh, model to our uh, that's going here and trying to copy this one I will copy this control C and close this one uh, no, uh, no need to save this one no need to save oh, okay and go in here and that's control V so this is our model this is a case study that's shrinking this one okay now um, show me this one okay no need for this no need for this okay we need to attach this block uh, this is block number nine uh, let's go for here block number nine and click here shift and click here right click on this one format font style the same font style okay now we need to attach this one so i will remove this 
put it here and let's terminate the results as a sink terminating from this one and going here and right click mask edit mask dialog parameters and dialog and going to solar radiation solar radiation so there is no need to input it by yourself you have to click or remove enable and remove visible so and double clicking and okay i'm sorry i have to wait i'm sorry saving if you double clicking here there is it disappeared this is there is no solar radiation entered by yourself you have to use uh, block number nine okay okay this is block number nine we have to uh, attach our outputs as a, a input for solar uh, um, uh, molten salt okay what we can do about this we have to adjust firstly uh, solar uh, radiation so suppose you need to adjust your uh, longitude and your latitude by yourself suppose I am sorry I have to adjust myself first <laughs> and um, let's go here saving first um, if you double clicking here I'm sorry let's go here double clicking here you will find uh, that you have to enter your location suppose you you would like to add your specific location okay uh, so i uh, i will do the following i will do the following going uh, here so addition so i need to change to edit this uh, lookup tables locations uh, longitude and latitudes okay longitude and latitude you can remove this and move and and configure your model um, but I, I would like to I do recommend to keep it but I will reform it so for longitude I have to double click here the the final four values let's go for the final four values one two three four I will change beginning from here we have 200 values so I will change from the final four values suppose I need to change this one to location number one two three four eight four six seven and location number two this is longitude two three point eight three one five location number uh, number three be careful with this one two four point three seven eight three and the final value is two three point oh oh nine eight so I hit apply okay okay for latitude I will do the same double clicking I will change the final four values one two three four beginning from here for this one I will add nine one point nine oh nine nine and this one is going to be nine one point two eight six eight and this one is Nine two point one five four eight, and the last one is nine one point seven one nine eight. Hit apply. I hope you can. Yes, change it. Okay, and don't forget to go here and Control M. Going here. So this is our country latitude and longitudes angles so going for pop-up menu options click type and now we have to change here from here 
This is the final four locations. One, two, three, four. I will. I need to change this to. Uh, I will write it here. Uh, suppose it's. Uh, I'm sorry. Location number one. Location one, and this one is location two. And this one is true V three, and this one is four. True V and four, okay. Nothing here, or you can type here four, three, two, and one, okay. And for here, I will write this. I will write this. Two three point eight four six seven, and this one I will write two three point eight three one five, and for this one uh, two four point. Three seven eight three north, and this one is uh, two three point oh oh nine eight north, and for this it's uh, nine one point nine oh nine nine. Uh, it is a little bit boring, but I have to do it. Two, eight, six, eight, and this one is a nine two point one five four eight. Uh, this location is specifically in India. Nine one point seven one nine eight. So I have to click OK, apply, and. If you double clicking here, you will find your locations are stored here. Location number one, number two, number three, number four. Okay. Uh, okay. That's the chooses. I think million is around maybe 50. I think. You can search it, Google it. And I will choose one value for, um, uh, for the time. Because if you run this model, let's run. Okay, let's run it. Uh, suppose I need to discover output here. Going to the solar edition, and suppose you need um, uh, you need the result of build model or uh, like a bell or at water, what is whatever your model you would like. So suppose I need the result from build model. So I will do it one time, and uh, for build model. And you have to go here, output, and uh, let it be a Kubernetes model. Let it be a Kubernetes model. Let it be a Kubernetes model, yes. And it's familiar with India. I will choose this one. So we have direct normal radians. Uh, first, uh, control. Okay, let's run first and see our results. If we choose a uh, Qubel model, yes. I, let's go for this one. Look, model number three, apply. And let's see if we run. I hope it can work. And this is uh, for location. Oh, this is um, this is a problem here. Oh, because we didn't uh, attach this one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have to attach it first. So we can okay. Let's attach it from a well model, and and we will see. Control V. Suppose I need uh, this is solar radiation, hourly solar radiation. 
G I Q B. This is what per meter square meter. Okay. Okay, and I have to close this one. So let's go here and you will find this as output so you have to let's copy it again control C and turn here control V and we can attach this one so this is our output so you can take your output from each of these and you can attach attach all of these models to your uh, uh, model. I, I did it before. I think I did it before. So I will, I will copy it. There is no time to. Uh, let's go here and I will check. On a, yes, from here. I'm sorry. Uh, let's go for CVC model and double clicking. Yes, I, uh, I can take this one for solar radiation model. I think yes. Uh, yes, we can. Oh, oh, no need. Okay, no need for this. No need for this. But, uh, not to confuse anyone. Okay, let's begin again. Okay, and uh, for uh, where we where we been and. Okay, output. This is our output. We have to attach this one. We have to attach this one to uh, solar radiation model. But take care because this is a matrix. This is stream is a matrix, and we are running our results on single point. So I will try. I will try as a as a matrix, and I will see my results using matrix or not but I think it will not work I think it will not work this mm, let's see oh, yes as expected because it's a single point iteration so this is a matrix value so we need just one value so you have to add to have to configure your solar addition model suppose I need this is Julian day you, you have to suppose it in, in July in summer and I need at um, the middle of the day 12 o'clock so it will give me one value just one value let's hit on and see our results okay because it's a dynamic model it will not accept matrix I think uh, yes, there's uh, some kind of complex not connected. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't connect this one. Uh, I hope it can work. We can name this by G. Okay, what per meter? Square square meter. Okay, and we can change formatting background color uh, like blue, and can close this one. Saving. Let's hit hit run and see. Uh, there is a complex. Yes, we need. Uh, we need uh, some kind of uh, let's go inside concerted solar tower yes for uh, solar solar radiation okay i need this one i need this one and suppose it's uh, okay it can work five 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 Let's go for a well and see. Yes, I'll choose double clicking here. Suppose I am in Egypt. 
let's go in Egypt and see standard median 30 and such pieces about that's it wrong and see yes it worked fine okay so this is solar addition for for example allocation of uh, in Egypt so this is your value so we attached equipment results to uh, to the constructed solar tower so you this is your value of solar radiation okay we you can attach this also to the photovoltaic because we have to attach this to the photovoltaic but let's go for our location i'm sure suppose it's uh, location number one okay let's hit apply and see if it work or not i hope it can work Oh yes, there is a problem with this uh, uh, to identify this location. There is a problem to this location. I think it's. Uh, I, uh, let's go for another one. Location. Location number two, four, or or three. There is a problem, yes. 70. There is a problem with the location. I will see. Okay, I, I will adjust the location uh, a little because there is a maybe the location is swapped, longitude instead of latitude or something like that. But uh, let's go for. Uh, for example India okay I will try this one I will, I will see for India for example yes it works this is for India I'm sorry this is for India okay I will adjust uh, the location and longitude and latitude but firstly I, I need to uh, to send this solar radiation uh, as an input value for the photovoltaic system so I have to go here and the signal routing and go to okay and I will remove uh, I will remove the name block name and I will write here I S Oh, yes, as a solar radiation instantly, solar radiation, and this is going to be input for for a photovoltaic system. Okay, this is your um, uh, photovoltaic system. For here, let's uh, if you double click here, you will find uh, we need to go inside. Sorry, going inside for this one for what perimeter square i have to control m and parameters and going for yes solar radiation solar radiation because i will exclude this and i have to enable visible remove i apply so there is no input you are double clicking here you will find there is no solar radiation here it appeared if so i will go inside photovoltaic here and going to the solar radiation stop logging I'm sorry stop logging okay and I will remove this step back mr. solar radiation and let's go for sync terminate this one okay and I will uh, input it from outside uh, let it be number number two okay and I will change the name is I is what per square meter okay okay remove this up here okay. this is your solar radiation as an input still outside you now we can go here you will realize that this is uh, 
it become an input so you have to uh, add an input here we will name it as solar radiation what square meter step side mister photovoltaic okay and you will find your model something like this okay this is control uh, R okay and we have to go outside you realize that there is uh, an input added I'm sorry I'm sorry there is your input here uh, as a main source so I can copy this one and double clicking and I Yes, solar radiation IS. So the solar radiation by your solar radiation model is responsible for uh, inputs of photovoltaic and concentrated solar tower. So for India location, let's hit run and see. Let's hit run. So you will find. Okay, fine. Working charmingly and, and clearly. You will find your solar radiation uh, you can inspect if you like. Let's see, get back here and hit run again. You will find 1097, as I think. 1097, this is your solar radiation uh, uh, coming from your solar uh, uh, radiation system. Okay. So, uh, in this uh, uh, video, we, we showed that you can attach your models, attach solar radiation model and photovoltaic model. You can, photovoltaic is responsible for the load uh, radiation through the cooling tower, and solar radiation model is responsible for uh, uh, measuring solar radiation through the, your, uh, your cycle. Um, and it um, it's very interesting to attach solar radiation model to photovoltaic model and to concentrated solar tower. Going inside solar radiation model, you you can choose uh, between five model for equal model. This is your uh, solar radiation, and uh, uh, in the middle of the day, this is value is for at twelve o'clock. Okay. And I showed you how to change your location, but I think we can. I will inspect again uh, how to um, going here. Yes, I'm sorry. Because how to uh, change longitude and latitude, and maybe the data that I have entered are not correct. I will inspect again. But in general, I showed you how to connect uh, different units based on your uh, 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 your particular outputs or inputs uh, finally I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model don't forget to like share and subscribe waiting for your comments uh, thank you very much